This video is brought to you by Nano, creators of virtual reality tools for immersive molecular visualization and interaction. Follow the link in the video description to download Nano and explore molecules yourself. So we'll continue our talk here of secondary structure by talking about the other ordered pattern of the backbone of the polypeptide chain. Uh, we've already talked about alpha helices, so now in this video we're going to talk about beta pleated sheets. Okay, so beta pleated sheets look a lot different than alpha helices. So what do they look like? Look like this. So when it comes to the ribbon diagrams, they're represented by these uh, arrows, which appear to be flat. Okay, and specifically, um, and they're not quite actually flat. I'll get back to that momentarily. But when it comes to the arrows, the base of the arrow represents um, the amino end and the tip of the arrow represents the carboxy end. And so these uh, sheets have directionality. And when we have two sheets basically running uh, in the same direction, uh, we consider them parallel. And of course, if they're running in opposite directions, we would consider them anti-parallel. And of course, they're not exactly flat. Uh, that's They sort of may appear that way sort of as a, when you look at them from a zoomed out perspective. But when you zoom in, you can see that the sheets are really made up of these um, polypeptide chains. And of course, they have um, uh, that sort of angled um, geometry, right? Um, hence the, uh, the pleats, which make it look sort of like that as opposed to a flat structure. Now, um, here we basically have two beta sheets and they're both running sort of in a horizontal fashion, right? We can see that this sheet up top is horizontal as is this one and i haven't specified with these two sheets whether they're parallel or anti-parallel and i'm not going to really discuss that here but what's important to recognize is that the direction of the sheet uh each of these sheets um is horizontal and the hydrogen bonds that ho are holding them together are nearly perpendicular to the directions of those sheets okay and we can see those hydrogen bonds here here and here. They're not exactly perpendicular, but they're nearly perpendicular to the direction of those sheets, okay? Um, which is worth noting. Here's a quick 3D visual of some beta pleated sheets in this protein here. We can see these uh, strands here, one going down this way, and then this one going up this other way, so they're running anti-parallel to each other. So we're gonna take a little chunk out of this protein and get rid of the rest of it, take a closer look at um, these uh, strands that make up this beta sheet. So we're specifically highlighting this molecule and showing the hydrogen bonds. And maybe you can already see them there, those little dotted green lines. We're gonna zoom in a little closer in on them. Um, and now we can see them here, right? These uh, hydrogen bonds are running perpendicular to the direction of the strands that make up this beta sheet, right? So see them going there as I sort of follow along that sheet, they're running perpendicular to the direction um, of these uh, peptide strands, okay? Now, um, there are some things, of course, that can disrupt beta pleated sheets. Um, actually, just one thing, and that's actually heat, right? And why is that? Well, heat disrupts hydrogen bonds, so uh, the heat would be able to disrupt these hydrogen bonds that hold di the different sheets together uh, and, and uh, denature them, okay? Now, um, that's, of course, worth mentioning, especially as it relates to uh, alpha helices. Alpha helices have a lot more things that can disrupt them, and beta pleated sheets really is just heat uh, that can disrupt them. Um, and beta pleated sheets um, are, uh, are less susceptible to denaturation um, because of this, okay? They're actually far more stable than, than alpha helices, okay? Which is something that's worth noting. Cool, that's about it. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching.